It's 4.30 on WKYT This Morning. Kentucky State Police are investigating an officer-involved shooting from over the weekend. We'll have the latest on the investigation just ahead. And we're learning more about a man. Police say attacked numerous people during a shoplifting turned robbery this weekend. A man has been arrested after police say he slashed a Kroger employee's face. That story and a lot more coming up on WKYT This Morning. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning. Hope you had a nice weekend and you're ready to go here on this Monday. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Welcome in. Let's first get a check of weather to see what is happening in that department with Micah. Well, it's pretty calm this morning. Now, we do have some rain back toward the west and it's going to be sliding our direction here in the days to come. We also have some thunderstorms really need to be watching as we move off through the day. There are your current temperatures at 66 now in Madison County, 65 down in Laurel County. And you can see it is very mild this morning. By the afternoon, 84, another shot at the 80s, and also some late day storms. That'll take you off late afternoon, early evening that these things start to kick up. And I'll show you what you can expect out of that coming up. Okay, see you in just a bit, and let's get to the news. New this morning, Lexington police are looking for two men who they say broke into several cars overnight. Police say just before 3 o'clock this morning, they got a call about a group of people breaking into cars. When officers got there, they say they found a Ford Focus filled to the brim with possibly stolen items. Police have not made any arrests in this. Well, three police officers are on administrative leave after an officer involved shooting over the weekend in Nelson County. Witnesses say a man tried to hit police officers with his Car, and now a KSP investigation is underway. WKYT Sam Smith is in Bardstown talking with troopers about the investigation. Police say this chase ended in a shooting and it started with a traffic stop. Police say the suspect was in a stolen truck. Deputies and officers pursued the suspect on Parkview Drive. They say the suspect used the stolen truck to ram three cruisers. The cruisers were totaled and three officers were injured. All the officers, fortunately, are all minor injuries. They've all been treated and released and uh, home relaxing right now, best that they can. The road was blocked off while police worked the scene, which meant drivers needed to find a new way around. And we saw the police cars and the red truck, and uh, they were all gathered together there. And the policeman just jumped out the road and stopped us and told us we had to turn around. John Hankin and his wife were on their way to church when they came up to the scene. The Sunam was wrecked pretty good. And uh, one of the police cars, one of the other police cars was wrecked pretty good. The suspect was shot and taken to the hospital. Chief Rick McCubbin says one Bardstown officer and one sheriff's deputy were involved in the shooting. Hankin says everything that happened Sunday morning is out of character for the town. So it's really unusual out here. We don't have that type of thing. Bardstown's a great place, great town. And we got an excellent police force. And you know, these guys watch us close. Mm -hmm. So we were kind of shocked when we heard this. In Bardstown, Sam Smith, WKYT. Thanks so much, Sam. Three officers are on administrative leave. We have some new information this morning in a robbery and assault at a Lexington dollar store. Lexington police arrested 54-year-old Anthony Taylor last night. Police say Taylor was trying to shoplift from the Dollar General store on Legends Lane. That's when, according to his arrest citation, he injured an employee and a customer. That makes his charge robbery. Police caught Taylor shortly after he left the store. A Lexington man accused of slashing a Kroger employee's face with a knife has been arrested. Police arrested Michael Buckner yesterday for the assault Saturday morning. They say Buckner took a cart full of items from the Kroger on Bryan Station Road and then according to officers when an employee asked to see his receipt we're told he pulled out a 12 inch knife and slashed her face. That employee was taken to UK hospital with serious injuries. Kroger had offered a $10,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. He is now charged with assault. Well, the victims of this say they were afraid for their lives. Lexington police investigating a home invasion near UK's campus over the weekend. Officers say four men broke into a home on suburban court at around 4 a.m. Sunday and assaulted the people inside. According to authorities, when the suspects learned there wasn't any money in the home, they stole some valuables. Police say the robbers beat one of the victims with a gun. I mean, I prayed to God last night for forgiveness. I mean, I was just kind of pretty sure that we were all going to go. I mean, they. They were going to tell us, like, if we didn't have, if they didn't give them, if we didn't give them any money, that they were going to start killing us, and we didn't have anything. 
That victim was taken to UK hospital with non life threatening injuries. Investigators still trying to figure out if the robbery was random or a targeted attack. A mom in Louisville is recovering this morning after her two year old accidentally shot her. The shooting happened on the east side of Louisville Saturday night. The mother was taken to the UVL hospital and is expected to be okay. Hopefully, a tragedy like this will bring them closer and make them realize as a family that there are some regulations that they need to follow and maybe some more safety precautions. There's no word on how the toddler got his hands on a gun. It's 4:35 on WKYT this morning. We're learning arson is the cause of a fire that injured a man and killed a dog over the weekend. Lexington firefighters say the fire started just after three o'clock Saturday at a home on Martin Luther King Boulevard. Firefighters say by the time they got there, the home was filled with smoke. Three people were in the home at the time. All managed to make it out. Firefighters tell us they don't believe the home had working smoke detectors. No arrests have been made. Breathitt County firefighters still working. At putting out a fire that started Saturday morning. Firefighters say around 2 a.m. Saturday, the fire started in a commercial building on Quicksand Road. The Quicksand Volunteer Fire Department says it took them several hours to contain it and that it could be another few days before the fire is completely out. It's one of the most intense fires they have ever handled. The, about the middle of the building, uh, it had broke through, the flames had broke through, and we thought we might have been able to have got a grip on it. But due to it having several floors, it just got in there and we could not, could not get, a, get a grip on it. Crews still are not sure what caused the fire. They do not suspect foul play. The affected part of the building, we're told, was vacant. No injuries were reported. A furniture store in Hardin County went up in flames over the weekend. Eight fire departments were called out to the fire at the Lord Company. At one point, the flames were so big, the sheriff's office asked folks to stay away from the area around the store. We're told the, we're told the fire even damaged a nearby building. A couple of firefighters had to be treated for some minor injuries. A new report shows sexual assaults at Kentucky universities are underreported. The report from the Herald Leader shows that UK police reported 12 sexual assaults on campus in the 2013 school year. That same year, 67 people went to the school counselor saying they were sexually assaulted. The same gap shows up on other college campuses across the state. UVL and WKU each reported one sexual assault during that school year. The paper reports 43 people went to Louisville's Prevention, Education, and Advocacy on campus, and the Western Kentucky University Counseling Center helped 21 victims. The Fayette County School Board met over the weekend to vote on a new firm to find a new superintendent. This comes after the district decided to sever its contract with ProAct following what they call disturbing allegations against that company's CEO. The board decided to work with McNamara Search Associates. More than a dozen executive search firms and consultants were contacted this week, but School Board Chair John Price said, quote, the board was impressed with Linda McNamara's thorough approach to vetting candidates and commitment to the Lexington community. The board's goal is to name a new superintendent by July 1st. A Western Kentucky family is at the center of a court case getting some worldwide attention. Joe and Nicole Nogler say the state took their 10 children from them because they're off the grid lifestyle and because their kids are homeschooled. The family lives in the Garfield community in Breckenridge County. Child Social Services say they took the kids because they don't have any running water in the home. The couple has raised nearly $34,000 for their legal fight to get their children back. The Noglers are due in court today for a custody hearing. The time this morning is 439, and WKYT this morning is just getting started. Eating foods high in fiber can help you drop some weight. Moms Every Day will shed light on the benefits of high fiber diets when we return. And we're looking outside, nothing going on in our neighborhood right now, but we do have some storms back toward the west heading our direction. I'll show you when you can expect those coming up.